at my family's house, you know, enjoying my night. It was Christmas Eve and, you know, um, it's funny how that whole night changed my, that whole morning changed my life. You know what I mean? Like, to be accused of something that you didn't do. And to have the police tell you that we don't know if you had anything to do with this, but if you don't do what we want, if you don't say what we want you to say, we're gonna throw a murder on you. And I tell them I'm gonna see them at trial, and they, throw, they actually threw a murder on me. And I did 18 years of my life as a result of that work. I'd always had a healthy skepticism of the criminal justice system um, to begin with, even walking in to the project. I don't know where that came from. Maybe I, I wouldn't even call it, you know, like a negative skepticism, just critical thinking skills that um, I'd always known that just by the sheer volume of people who are prosecuted and imprisoned on a yearly basis, that it was not possible that some of those people had not been wrongfully convicted and, fal and or falsely accused and wrongfully convicted. It is unfortunate, but it is, it is necessary that projects like the Illinois Innocence Project as well as other national projects exist because they exist to help remedy that, 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 uh, that gap. I use the term actual innocence and I think it's important to, for people to understand what that means. Uh, actual innocence um, does not mean that there was some error of law during a trial that produced an unfair result. It does not mean that there was a lesser role of responsibility in a crime. What it means is that they got the wrong person, that there's an error made, and the system makes errors. Make no mistake about it. If the criminal justice system did not make errors, it would be the only discipline, the only profession um, among, uh, you know, in our country, in our world, that was mistake proof. And of course, it makes errors. Right now, our mission um, is uh, advocacy, education, and reform. Um, the reform part is particularly critical and has been within the movement uh, for the last, since it started, because we all understood that the number of cases out there is, is just endless uh, right now. We don't see a bottom to it at the moment. And so the question became, you can take legal cases one by one, and the amount of work that goes into a case is anywhere from three to six or seven years of work. One case, we can do that, but the problem is if we don't do something to stop the problem at the bottom, to minimize wrongful convictions, this is gonna go on forever and ever. Our goal is to put ourselves out of business. We know that's not gonna happen for a long time, but that's the goal. The amount of requests are frankly overwhelming at times. Um, we, uh, it, it's, it's a daunting task to read these letters and to see the information that comes in and the stacks and stacks of paper it is very, very daunting. Um, we are always in need of additional resources. Um, and frankly, um, a project like ours, while supported generously by the university to the extent of its ability, can't survive without substantial private donations from people who care about justice. Everybody who's in prison is not innocent, but for the ones who are, for the ones who are, there are people out here fighting. And it's this project. It's real. And I got to do my part to get that message across to the people who are losing belief in what could happen if you don't give up. In Kankakee County, I can still hear Joe Burrow's chains dropping to the floor. I can still hear them. I'll hear those my whole life. Um, I can still hear um, Randy Steidel's mom crying when Randy walked out of prison. I will say with all the work I've done going all the way back to when I was involved in the civil rights movement, 
all of the other things that I've even mentioned, nothing has exceeded the reward of being able to walk someone out of prison who's actually innocent and give them a piece of their life back. If you care about justice, you should care about what we do. Because we are one of the few endeavors in life in the world where we're trying to right a wrong. And unless you think that such wrongs never occur, then you should support us because that's what we're trying to do.